Shout out to Chicago. Chicago, y'all tired of me yet? Hey, Chicago, Shot Town. Shot Town. Y'all tired of me yet? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's your turn, Chicago. You know what I heard that happened over Memorial Day weekend? I heard that Chicago had at least 50 people shot of all ages, babies to elders. From babies to elders, I heard they had the, the drill music popping, the Uzis out, and they was just shooting everything. I heard they were spraying everything. They said, we taking the babies out. We taking, the, we taking black people out. We taking our communities out. We going to continue to lower the value. Y'all keep asking me to do I think Chicago is probably one of the only major cities that I have not done a Patreon meetup in. I've done Patreon meetups in almost every single major city except for Chicago. Chicago, let's talk about it real quick. Yeah, Diane and Val, the shooting victims range in age from two years old to 77 years old. Represent Let's stop there. Before we even get into the rest of it, the shooting victims range from two years old to 77. Y'all don't discriminate. You know, I was watching uh, my favorite series again for like the seventh time, uh, and it's called The Wire. And in The Wire, the one thing that they always advocated for is no violence on a Sunday. And when they hit up, they tried to hit up um, my man's on a Sunday, and then they, they, they shot the lady's hat, and she fell off her head. Avon Barksdale and Stringer Bell, they was pissed. They said, y'all doing violence on a Sunday? They, even they had standards in the streets of Baltimore. Two years old to 77. How do you shoot a two-year-old? How do you shoot a 70? They already on the tail end of their life. Don't tell me I got to do life in jail for a 77-year-old. That was probably never going to make it to be 80 in the first place. Y'all don't discriminate. And y'all only shoot other black people. Ain't that insane? Chicago has become the poster child for defund the police, embrace liberal views, vote people in office based off of the color in their skin and their sexuality and their gender, and then make sure that you continue to run in the Victim Olympics and run all of the good businesses out by burning them up and shooting everything up. Two to seven, let me, let me rewind this. Yeah, Diane and Val, the shooting victims range in age from two years old to 77 years old, representing every part of the city. This despite a collaborative public safety effort the new mayor hopes to implement all summer. Over the holiday weekend, by our count, at least 50 people were shot, 10 killed. A man was critically wounded in the back of the yards neighborhood in this South Chicago home. Another man, not the South side again. 50 people shot, 10 killed. Well, they doing some, they doing something right. At least they can't aim. They just wounding you now, hoping to kill you. Eyes closed. They got switches on their Glocks now. Hey. For all of my people that's watching this right now, how many of these good, good black and white folks are still living in Chicago? Why y'all still there? Why y'all still there? Why y'all still in there suffering, trying to fix your communities? You know, I used to have this uh, show that I was on. I'll neglect to name it. Uh, I used to have this show that I was on way, way back when I was turning it up on the internet on panels. And it was this young guy on there. Well, actually a little bit older definitely older than me but I call him a young man because he was young in spirit and he had this good spirit of trying to support black people and fix the community especially on the south side of Chicago where I grew up and guess what his name was Chicago Rilla his name was Chicago Rilla and he was so enthusiastic about being for the community let me tell you one thing as much as I love his enthusiastic can do spirit for the community it was misplaced chicago rilla was a fool a whole fool not a half a fool and i don't say that to insult him i say that out of 
his own ignorance and that him misunderstanding what it was that he was facing. You can't negotiate with terrorists. You cannot negotiate with, have y'all ever seen what it's like on these Afghanistan documentaries and Pakistan and stuff like that? Do y'all know what it's like to try to negotiate with a terrorist? They don't care. They don't look at life and value it the same way that you do. Usually when you go into a negotiation or even a debate with somebody, y'all est establish a basic foundation of what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad, and what this thing is, the basic foundation, and then we can leapfrog into a conversation. Then any negotiation or debate, unless y'all both come to the same conclusion of, okay, we do recognize that A, B, C, and D. You cannot negotiate with people who don't give a fuck about themselves. They don't care about their own life. So you're going to go in there and convince them to do something better for the community. And was shot in the face overnight Monday. Three people ages 57 to 77 were wounded while standing on a sidewalk in Calumet Heights and in Lakeview. Four people were shot in two separate shootings. One of the victims was 35 year old William Hare shot and killed while walking with a friend. Mayor Brandon Johnson spent the weekend at various neighborhood gatherings aimed at keeping streets safe. Last week, he touted a holistic approach to public safety this summer. How, how does a, an approach become holistic in public safety? And then right after that, they was like, cool. Listen, shout out to Mayor Brandon Johnson, who's going to be a worse mayor. I don't know how you can be a worse mayor than Lori Lightfoot, but we see the victim Olympics coming. We see that he's just a reflection of the people that voted for him. Trust me. With new funding to support community groups, but says we have a tremendous amount of work to do. Poverty didn't go away over the weekend. Like we understand that when the community remember when I was telling y'all about the victim Olympics, they blaming it on poverty. They killing two year olds and seventy seven year olds and blaming it on poverty, shooting them in the face. <laughs> He's the same talking points we've been talking about for the last 60 years. When we going to wake the fuck up, y'all? Actually, I would advocate that you don't wake up. I would advocate that you just leave everybody else behind. But let's get, let's hear what he has to say. These have been disinvested in and traumatized that you're seeing the manifestation of that trauma. And later this morning, community activists and residents in Lakeview will be holding a press conference calling attention to this weekend's violence. Watch breaking. So as we continue to navigate this thing and we talk about uh, all of the phenomenal ways in which we can solve for what's happening in the community, uh, one thing we know for sure and two things is for certain is that we're always going to have people that don't do the things that's in the best interest of the people that they live by, are surrounded by, look like them, no matter how old they are, no matter how young they are, and no matter what your economic status is, 